Hi guys, good morning. Uh, so in the last video we saw about connected components. In that we saw that we need to traverse the graph. It may be via a BFS or a DFS. I told in the last video, right? So yeah, let's see how we traverse the graph. So in this video we are going to see the graph traversal technique. We have two very standard techniques. One is a BFS called as a breadth first search. Another is a DFS called as a depth first search. Word itself says, but I will deeply go into what everything says. But before that, why I'm starting with a BFS and not with a DFS is because BFS is iterative. DFS is recursive. Our mind easily understands iterative things rather than the recursive things if you are good with recursion. Although, when I explain, I'll actually make sure you understand recursion pretty, pretty easily. But for now, for starters, because before going on to the st heavy starter, because it's also a starter, uh, before going to the heavy starter, let's start with the easy starter. It's just iterative, which means you just go on to every node and see. But yeah, before going on, the word itself signifies everything. Breath first search. You start with a node, you search breath wise. Breath wise, which means layer wise, you keep on searching. You go on, explore every neighbor layer wise. Which means if you are starting from here, then you go on to next layer, next layer, next layer, and then next layer. Its neighbors are this, its neighbors are this, its neighbors are this, its neighbors are this. So you just go on to find and explore every neighbor. So you start from a node, you go level wise, you go level wise, breadth wise. For this node, the neighbors are 1 and 2. For 1 and 2, the neighbors are 0 and 3. But, 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 0 was already visited. So I will just visit 3. For 3, neighbors are 1, 2, 4 and 6. But, 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 1, 2 are already visited. It is already visited. So I'll just visit my 4 and 6. For 4 and 6, 6 has neighbor 3, but it's already visited. 4 has neighbor 3 and 5. 3 is already visited. So just visit a fight in the next layer. So it is layer wise, level wise, breadth wise algorithm. Now, we know we have to start from some node. I'll just give you any node you can start from. For our case, let's say we can start from a node 0. But, 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 I'm not saying you have to always start from this node. You can start from any node whatsoever you want. Because the graph can be converted. Because see, it's just a graph, right? Let's say my hand is a graph. So either I can put it like this. Either I can put it like this. Anyway, I can have one top and it can be the whole graph. So I just start from a root node. Now, pretty simple, pretty standard. I have a root node. I have a node. Let's say it is a source. I need to start from this source and go on to its neighbors. You remember something neighbors? How we used to store the neighbors in the graph? We used to store in an adjacency list. Adjacency list always store a neighbor for a graph. So basically, I have this adjacency list. This adjacency list will say, okay, for zero, the neighbors are one and two. The neighbors are one and two. Lovely. And I just want to visit them. So for zero, I'll just visit its, its neighbors one and two in one go, which means in one go, I'll just visit one and two, which are the neighbors of zero. Lovely. But, 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 but here, Aryan, you say one thing for three, the neighbors are one, two, four and six For three, the neighbors would have been one, two, four and six. But at this point, you're only visiting for three, you're only, only visiting four and six. Why? Because one and two were already visited, already visited here. So whenever a node is visited, see for this node three in my adjacency list, which means in my graph, I know for three, the neighbors are one, two, four and six. But as I go on to one, two, oh, it's already visited. I can't take it. Four and six, I, I, I can't take it. It's not visited and it's a neighbor. It's the same thing which we need to do that if we are at one and two, I just have this one and two, this one and two, its neighbors is zero and three, zero and three. But, but, but 
as we already saw in the last step that my zero my zero was visited so i can't take zero i can only have three so i'll just push that three in my sum data structure which can help me iterate level wise which means every level simultaneously i need to go through now we are good okay i will just have a node i know how to get the neighbors i know okay how to get the neighbors i'll just get the neighbors because i'll just keep a visited to not grab the neighbors which are already visited so i just grab the nodes which are neighbors i'll just grab okay if they have been visited or not but the only thing which remains is i will choose a data structure which will help me iterate level wise i know how to iterate level wise i just only know okay how i can iterate level wise with some data structure which can help me actually iterate simultaneously every level we keep visited we know why because we we don't need to go on to neighbor which is already visited again to actually go on level wise we use a queue how a queue if you know something about queue then queue is that okay you just push in something in the queue then you have this queue then from the starting itself you just grab everything out and push in its child in the queue not 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 understanding right let's see the example we have a queue if you know the identity of a queue it is if we have this node as say zero i just push in in my queue now the queue has one node and it is only have it it has one node it understand it has one node and that is the level of that node one like first level one level and one node cool i just marked it as visited because ultimately in the next iteration i don't want to visit it again right cool now i just grabbed that out of queue out of queue remove that out of queue push in its neighbors which means neighbors of zero is nothing but one and two so neighbors of zero i just push in in my queue you you understand what happened now the only elements in my queue are one and two which are at one level only okay cool now my elements in the queue are one and two again i'll do one thing i'll just grab this firstly i i am now at one and two i also have to mark it as visited because ultimately in my next iteration i don't want to visit it again i just grab this one out i'll just push its neighbor in my queue neighbors of one is zero and three but 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 zero is already visited i can't visit it again the thing i can visit it is only three so i just push in in i just push in the three in my queue and i just simultaneously also make my three as visited because my three is now pushed in some queue but 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 this queue for now this queue was not empty right i just removed this element also and try to push in its neighbors its neighbor is zero oh it's already visited its neighbor is three oh it is already visited also so it cannot push in anything so now my new name my new element in my queue is nothing but this three only you understood again what happened my queue only has this one element which is actually the actually the level of that particular queue now again what will happen is that again i'll just go on i'll just find okay what is neighbors one two one two are already visited i just can't visit them i just can visit four and six so i just remove this particular three i just grab this four i just grab this six and push it in my queue then again i'll just again you will see my queue has elements at one level you are seeing how i am going on level wise see this bfs algorithm it can be modified a lot to actually grab a better examples we will exactly see but first you are seeing how a bfs traversal is working on we are just going on level wise you saw you saw we started from 0 then we went to 1 2 after that we went to 3 after that, after that we are at 4 6 now at 4 6 my 4 and 6 both are visited firstly i mark my mark them as visited then my 4 i just go on okay what is neighbors 3 and 5 3 is already visited 5 is not so i can visit my 5 i just push in my 5 my 4 is gone my 6 is remaining 
my six has neighbor three and that's it six has neighbor three which is already visited oh so six cannot have any neighbor so yeah no neighbors at all for six now again you will see my q has my one element which is five and also it is visited then again i'll do the same thing i'll just grab this element i just grab this element out i just remove that from q i just try to push in its neighbors which are not visited its neighbor is four it's already visited and else it has no neighbor so i just remove that from q a hey, my q has now become empty which means my every element i have gone through my every element in this graph i just started from some elements and i was just every point pushing some neighbor 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 in that queue now nothing is in inside my queue which means no neighbor is inside my queue which means everything would everything in this graph is traversed thus i can easily say okay now my this particular graph is completely traversed everything in this graph is visited it is traversed it is how a bfs level wise breadth wise traversal works let's see the code it's pretty 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 easy same c plus plus code here java code here exactly the same firstly firstly first and foremost my main function in which i just grab the number of nodes and the number of edges i just make my graph as i told in the last video also it is nothing but my vector and every element of that vector is nothing but a list or another vector as you know how a graph is made if you have not watched you can just go and watch a previous video in this playlist and you will just get exactly how a graph is made okay when my graph is made i'll just traverse on every of my edge i'll just grab that edge i'll just make it undirected graph out of that edge i will have a visited array because i need to keep sure and to keep sure that i just visit my every node exactly once right because i just don't want to visit my parents i want to go to neighbors but i don't want to visit the neighbors again and again right i just want to i just want to go to neighbors but i don't want to visit what is already visited cool it is for that thing then i just have the bfs of this graph see it is the code snippet which you can save in any of your files i just have this pdf and this code you can just copy paste from this pdf itself it can be copy pasted it's a picture and it's a code it's a like written code so you can just copy paste it and use it as a snippet wherever you want although it's pretty short to write but you can also use that as a snippet now the same main function you can exactly see here also exactly the same thing which we have written we are calling the function bfs of graph now actually go on to this function firstly we have a queue as i said to store that we need to have a queue so i have this queue this queue will store every element firstly 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 it will just store the source you will start your bfs you will start your traversal from some node or the other i said you can choose any node choose any node of this graph any node you want i just choose to start from the node zero you can choose any node no matter at all so it is just a source node from where it is just being started firstly as we have portion in my in our queue so we need to mark it as visited now comes the main thing i just go on until this queue becomes empty because 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 i know if this queue becomes empty which means my whole graph is traversed and it is the only thing which i wanted i wanted my whole graph to be traversed thus i just go on to this queue until this queue is empty i just grabbed the first element whatsoever is in the queue i just remove that from the queue firstly and i just push in its child inside my queue if 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 the child is already not visited which means if the child visited is zero which means okay it is not visited so i can visit it i just push that in my queue and also make sure okay i just mark it as visited because every child is now visited visited in the sense if it is not visited just mark it as visited same exactly the same thing we can see here q we have exactly the same thing exactly the same thing which we have here with this what happened is i just went on to every child and now my every child which was not visited is also pushed inside the queue with this with this i am just traversing on my graph level level wise thus you can easily see that every ch ch children if it is not visited it just pushed in the queue and the code you can just use the same code 
just grab this BFS of graph from this PDF, just copy paste that and you can use your address snippet. Now comes the complexity part. Pretty simple. If my graph is pretty scattered, which means I have this node, 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 then I have to traverse on every node for sure. See, it's pretty simple. I have to traverse on every node to actually make that visited area or to go on to every node of that graph. So it is just O of N in that sense. And O of E is, let's say, if to make that graph itself, I just traverse on every edge, right? To make that graph, we just go on for this node U. I have this node. Uh, I have these <coughs> edges to node V1, V2, V3. For this node V1, I have the edge to U, V2, V3. So uh, for every node, I'm just going. So basically, it is just nothing but to make the graph, I just go on to every edge itself. To, be the, to make the graph, I just go on to every edge itself. So it is just E for that thing. So thus is the complexity is O of N plus E. Or you can also say 2 into E, but it's mostly more or less the same thing. So yeah, it is just O of N plus E. Space complexity, it's also the same O of N plus E to make the graph itself. Uh, o of N for that visited array. And again, a O of N for that Q. Ultimately, it's O of N plus E only, but yeah. I just showed okay what all spaces are being used in a graph because ultimately in the exam also the interview can say optimize something optimize something for me so yeah it is that we have using a visited array it's important we are using a queue it's important to use a, in a bfs itself and graph is for sure we need to have it no matter what i have also having some practice problems and i'll Try to update if the, if I just feel like okay some problems are there or not. But yeah, so the patterns for problems are there. We will see some problems in this uh, playlist also. So yeah, you do, you don't have to worry about if you want to do. But if you want to do problems now, then you can do it. And I was saying that okay, this BFS it's a standard BFS traversal, right? We have not modified anything. We have not uh, used the functionality. The best things of bfs you can just modify one line of code and you can solve any question you can just modify one line of code here and solve any question it is that it's a standard basic thing basic bfs in the upcoming videos we're going to see how we modify this bfs and solve our algorithm i just modify one line just one line and your problem will be solved i just modify other line your other problem will be solved it is how the snippet of bfs will help us so yeah it's all from me i hope that you guys liked it if yes then do hit the like button it helps and motivates a lot and share with your fellow juniors friends whosoever want to learn graph it's a bap graph series it's me i'm little signing off and goodbye take care